What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays, and every other day I do whatever I feel like. Today we are playing a six player progressive game on Himeji Castle. I haven't played a ton of Himeji on this channel. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of base progressive strategy for this map. I love this map. It's super interesting. Um, let's go through the settings first. We have uh, Global Domination, World Domination on Himeji Castle, 60 second turn. Expert AI, we don't have one yet. Uh, progressive cards, Balance Blitz, Dice, no filtering of rank, no lines, no fog, no blizzards. I'm in the second position. Here's how the continents break down on Himeji. We have Farms worth 4, Village worth 5, Oya, oh yeah, Shiki Park worth 3, Coco N Garden worth plus 2, and Coco N Proper worth plus 3. Himeji Senheim plus 5, Himeji Castle worth plus 6, Himeji Castle Proper plus 4, Himeji Garden plus 4, North is plus 6, and City is plus 7. And I'm in the second position. Looks like Yellow went 4 this top corner. So, I would like to be in three positions ideally. I don't want to lose this, but I don't have the resources to buttress this and also take the plus two, which is what I'm going to do on the first turn. I have a connected path to guard that plus two, so I might as well try and hold a bonus, seeing as how I was gifted it on the first turn. In the first position of General, read Buttery 6822, flying the flag of Holy See with 417 hours played and an almost winning record. 552 to 669 yellow is good. All right. This is the Alt Pete account um, with 77 hours, 110 wins, and 88 losses. In the third position, we have Venix, flying the flag of France with 553 hours played, 263 wins, and 1246 losses. That would be an intermediate at best. Uh, in the fourth position, we have Prosaic Wraith, Prosaic Wraith 23,038, uh, flying the flag of Spain, that was a tough name to say, 279 hours with 115 wins and 421 losses. In the fifth position, we have Kiana Crow, flying the flag of Turkey, with 11 hours, 2 wins and 12 losses. Okay, so green is a more newer player. And finally, routing it out. Find the flag of the United Kingdom, Electro Eels, with 291 hours and 149 wins, 254 losses. Okay, so we have a couple decent opponents, a couple more new opponents, and it looks like the white player is botting out already. Okay. The bot was going to make a take here, but didn't quite have the time to do so. On my next turn, should this uh, survive and everything be going all right, I want to strengthen this a little bit, but I want to strengthen that more and maybe duck it out into a corner. So as long as this two stack survives, I think my take's going to be here. Reason being, I don't want to be in a hallway, I want to be in a corner because I want the exterior position on this side of the map to survive. Ideally, I would like to be positioned one, two, and three, and I'm expecting to lose this. Yeah. No. Well, don't think it's going to live very long sandwich between a bot that was going to attack that. Oh, and green goes the other way. Okay, cool. Maybe that three stack lives longer than I thought. Nope. Dead. Okay. <laughs> I won't have any occupation in the middle. I want to strengthen up here, though. Yeah, kind of expected that too. Well, if I'm in the one position play this game, at least I'm holding a bonus. Yeah, we'll do that the four out. I have a line to take Coco and proper as well. Be plus five for holding one, two, three, four, five territories. That seems really good. I was gifted the best corner of this map. I should probably pay that off. 
and my opponents were wise to remove me from my exterior positions because it is progressive it's going to be harder to make my kills if I don't have any occupation on that side of the board but that's going to be offset by my really strong start and my ability to take a lot of territory in the bottom left corner in the early turns my next move is going to be here and then after that it's going to be here and I'll be able to hold plus Six, seven, eight from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight territory. It's an eight for eight in this corner. And you can guard from one, two, three positions. That plus eight. Someone will have to do something about that. Green's not lined up to kill me, unless they move their stack here. My final exterior position is probably going to be removed. It's good work by my opponents. Some solid teamwork. And that is the thing that kills you. No one player can beat a team of more than one, unless you're really, really good. Rolls a six on three and wins. All right. Looks like Orange is working on Coco N Castle. They're not. Uh, is working on Himeji Castle proper in the center. The plus four. Yeah. Yellow blitzes a two v one and loses. Try again and wins. I can roll two different 6v2s and win 100% odds on either. Put the other troops there to guard my third position. How are my dice? Both mediocre. Okay, so orange can break me here but my other two entries are pretty solidly guarded. Orange also has bigger fish to fry inside Himeji Castle, so maybe I get to hold the plus eight and then I'm in really good shape this game. What is the white bot going to do? The white bot's taking territory on this side of me, which I like. I think that actually helps me. So I'm semi-guarded by a bot on this side, as long as I don't leave myself weak such that the bot invades me. I can have the bot on this side of my border and attack the other two directions. Green is very aggressive, and they finish. Uh, Meiji Castle Court's worth plus six, but they're not guarding it at all. So unless they have some kind of deal with orange. And guard it, put the three stack there. The white could still break, but white's a bot. Yeah, maybe they get to hold the plus six. That'd be cool. But they don't guard. See, if I was orange, I'd break that because it's next to me, right? But he's he's trying to break me because he's more worried about me. Yeah, yeah, and good decision, but here's the thing. Now you have a plus six around. He's gonna break he's gonna break green as well. Yeah, he's going to guard from here. No! That is surprising. You're going to let green have a plus six, but you're going to take the plus three away from me. Strange. I do enjoy getting in the heads of my opponents. Maybe he's less worried about green because green has a pretty bad record and I have a pretty good one. Remind me if orange is any good. Yeah, orange is okay. All right, so here's what we do. We strengthen that, and we strengthen that, and the rest go here. Feel good about my start. I'm surprised to see this occur. The stable border between Himeji Castle and Himeji Castle Court. 
be good for both of them. Okay, the bot provided me with a little bit of buffer zone now on either side, and I can go this way. Green was able to hold the plus six. And just like that, they have more troops than me. Too bad for orange. So what I would have done in this situation if I was green is I would have crippled orange. I would have put all my troops in. If I was going to hit them at all, I would hit them really hard. Such that they couldn't do this and counterattack, right? This is a losing-losing proposition for both orange and green, and now we have a war that I'm not involved in. Well, I don't want the bot to get too strong, so I'll put a third of my troops in each position. I'm really happy with my game so far. It's going to be hard to beat me, but the matches are going to start to come in soon. Purple is thinking about what to do. Me leaving a white five stack here has been ideal because I, as much as Purple might want to break me, pushing through an extra five troops at this stage of the game just isn't going to be the way that has to happen. Okay, did Purple bot out? Looks like. No, they're just going super slow. Okay, so the bot's no longer there. Purple's next to me, but they've traded in. So they're trying to guard the kill on the white bot. So what's good about this structure is I'm holding three continents and I'm guarding, but I'm also in three positions lined up to move into the exterior. Did green bot out? Oh my god. Alright, so white's a bot, purple's, uh, sorry, white's a bot and green's a bot. This time orange holds the bonus, so orange is going to be fighting with the green bot. Alright, yellow trades in, gets the 8, which means I get the 10. For being in the second position, I get the 10 match. Normal progressive is 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. I get 2 shots higher than I otherwise would have. It looks like yellow is going for Himeji City. With a bunch of green bot in the mix. My take is here. Split my reinforcement equally. And now I am guarding with three distributed 16 stacks. It's going to be tough to beat me. The way I lose this game is somebody throws and gives their cards to somebody else and that somebody else snowballs. Because we are now at the point in the game, this is the inflection point in progressive, where the cards start to matter more than the continents. So because I have 59 troops, white is really weak. I have a line to kill white on my next turn. Do they match? And they do. White gets the 12. Where does that go? That 14 could roll my 16, but I don't think they will. I think I have to back my 16 off, though. 
and that's fine. Or I split it. I guard here and here. Letting purple hold this continent would probably be a bad move. What's it worth? Five? Four. Not the end of the world. Okay, green's still a bot. Doing a bunch of nothing. Can I kill green, maybe? No, because yellow's guarding. Okay. I have a line to kill white, but I want to kill white uh, when they're worth slightly more. So I think the move is to back off and let white take this territory. Oh, well, looks like orange is going to hit green. How bad? This is what I'm talking about. So orange could potentially end up feeding green to yellow if they're too aggressive. And then yellow would eat green, get three cards, trade in, and then potentially snowball from this side of the board. Yeah. So this is exactly what I was talking about. So yellow can eat green now if they're good. And get that trade in. The trade in is now worth 20. I don't have a match on three. Let's see if yellow does it. No, it's just they don't have quite enough troops. They're going for it? No. Can I? I think I can. I can do a couple of splits, so I think I got I think I got the juice. I think I kill yellow now. So I think I, I win both. I win the positioning game and I win the cards game. next. Uh, Magenta has three cards and 22 troops. Looks like Magenta's the fish. Okay, eight on four, I think it's nine on four is a hundred percent. And I can finish off Magenta and trade again. Orange, who's my remaining human opponent, and clean up with the white bot. Orange to use their entire trade on me, and it won't matter because I'm holding five cards and the rest of the board, and that's a GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little quick one today. Get it in under 20 minutes. All went right for me. Thank you. Well played. All right. Well played, Orange. I got lucky too. You know what? You can have second. Because fuck people botting out getting second, right? I'm a, I'm a gentleman when I can't afford to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun, educational, informative, entertaining. Whatever you get out of my work, I really appreciate that you're here.
and enjoying it, and that's the key thing. Defeating a master, a novice, an expert, a novice, and a master. All right, two novice, two masters, and an expert. Cool, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. I do a daily release schedule on YouTube. If you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. Uh, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.